or they're all coughing and dying and sick and ain't none of them happy, complaining to each other about their marriages and their children and their finances, why in the world would somebody want, like me want to go sit in the hot tub with y'all? I'd just get out depressed and have to go get drunk <laughs> to get over your problems. <laughs> You're never going to put this up. I'm just being real oh, today. So I'm being a different I'm, kind I'm of also, I, you know, I, they wanted you to come to their church because you had money. Mm -hmm. I think this is what... And then when I did start going to church, I wouldn't drive my $80,000 Mercedes. I drove my SUV that anybody could, well, it was 40000 but anybody could get, I mean, you know, that's not a luxury vehicle. Because I didn't want, you know, when the church asked, when I offered to help with the youth, and the guy came back and he said, you said you'd help us with the youth. And I said, yes, I sure did. And he said, well, somebody told me that you had worked in restaurants, that you, was, you, you, you were a restaurant manager or had worked in restaurants or something like that. And I said, yeah, something like that. I never corrected him. And because I didn't want anybody to know. Who do you say I am? Yeah, I didn't want them to say who I was. <laughs> right. I didn't want them to know. So, right. so I went to that church for well over a year before. And then, watch this. When they found out who they say I am, uh, they're, all the women wanted to be friends with. Before, they didn't like me. Is this as, after the hospital event, obviously? Oh, yeah, I okay. had gotten saved, and I was gotten... Now, yeah, I never went okay. to church before. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, so I was a youth. I was helping with the youth, and none of them were thought much about me because I'm a, you know, I'm 46 and, and uh, I'm married, but my husband never comes to church. And uh, any, anyway, so they're good with me helping with the youth. But you know, the women didn't have much to do with me because they didn't know me and I didn't bring my husband with me and I didn't do their little women's things that they did. It's okay, I never played with Barbie dolls either, so it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I don't need to come to your knitting party. I, I just think it's awesome because we have this, well, I had a stereotype where it's like it's really hard for you know rich people or happy people to come yeah. into the kingdom and you know we need to go after the ones that are you know yeah. down and out and right. at the bottom of their luck and you know sometimes that works but it's really good to hear you know that yeah obviously anytime you put God in a box he's gonna prove you wrong but. yeah I think sort of first is what the lost needs more than uh, the sinner's prayer is number one they need to have had the Holy Spirit convict them of who they are yeah. and see their the poverty and the hideousness of how they honestly yeah. are. But you know, I didn't feel that way the night I got born again. No, like whenever you told somebody uh, how things was, that there was an old self to them and yeah. God was ready to That's fix true. them. He died for that so that he, they could have something right. better. Right. And they need to realize that they have a severe need and that need is Jesus Christ. Right. And in addition to, to tell them anything, they need discipleship. Oh, they, everybody needs that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, a brand new certainly. one day old baby needs a bottle. Yeah. Because it needs nourishment, right? Well, guess we what? A baby, to, brand new need baby believer needs. He needs a bottle bottle. The natural spirit. <laughs> but it here's what I see. Here's what I, you know, uh, and I, I know y'all probably heard my salvation story, but you know, when I, when I got saved, what happened is I, I stopped working and went to be with my mother, okay? You know, that still small voice just getting still. You know, that's another thing. People are so busy all the time and we're just caught up in the world. And it doesn't matter if you're struggling to make the bills and make ends meet, living on chicken noodle soup till the next paycheck, or if you're flying all over the world scuba diving. Uh, those are t two huge different levels of living, by the way, right? And, and Trying to figure out how to buy a 17 cent can of soup and spending $10,000 to go scuba diving one weekend. That's two different worlds. I've been in both. And both of them you can be spiritually bankrupt in, right? Mm -hmm. We know that. But watch. So I, I, when my mother had the massive heart attack, I wasn't broken. I had a huge ego home. I had to build an 8,000 square foot house for my ego to fit in it. 
Because 5,000 wouldn't hold it. I was so deceived and confused, right? And, that, and when the women at the church found out I lived in the, the Taj Mahal, they wanted to come and start having all their deals at my house. And I'm like, y'all know I live an hour away, right? And then I let one lady come over and she's wanting to go around and take pictures. I said, you can't take pictures in my house. Oh, well, I want to show everybody. I said, I know. That's the problem. <laughs> you can't take pictures of my house. Because I didn't want them to accept me for who I used to be, the girl with all the money, right? So, so I was on the down low for a year at that, that church. Nobody knew. They just thought I was just a common person, which is cool. Because <laughs> my little kids love me. You know, I was like Mama Faye, man. I'm out there jumping in the mud puddles with them. But let's fast forward to Mother's Hospital room. Right? 